This program sponsored by Lombardo's Apothecary, located at 1230 South Mill Street on the south side of Newcastle. Special thanks going out to Town Mall Pizza for sponsorship of this program, located in the Cascade Galleria, Newcastle. Hello, I'm Melva Pope, and welcome to the morning show. Good morning and welcome Newcastle, welcome to the morning show, hopefully you have that first cup of coffee. We're going to talk a lot about this as Mike DiStefano gives me a little heads up on that. Uh, some uh, things in the mailbag. Lisa, thanks for joining the NC TV 45 family. And um, birthday wishes. Anthony Sorbo, Harry G. Patrick, Cornell Charles, Liz De Thomas, James Claus, Bobby Hike, Hilk. Walt Flamino, hopefully you get, yeah, that side cup of coffee and birthday cake. Tweeter, Twitter, 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 notifications and people watching us in so many different ways. And um, Alan, uh, some of them don't put, Rick Can, Kamen. Uh, Thomas Tommy Boy. Okay. Hopefully, uh, you're enjoying. <coughs> and, um, remember, this is the last hockey weekend before the holidays. They'll resume after the new year. More birthdays Robert Fusco, Mary Lou, David Tuma. Brenda Keller, Nicole Fico, and Brenda Sarah Relly, Lynn Barclay, Cliff Davis, Pasquale PJ Natal, and Melissa Modi. Hopefully, uh, you have a great birthday. And um, Cr Coacher, Cruncher, uh, okay. Uh, welcome to the NCTV45 family. I actually know who that is. Chloe, uh, welcome. Charlene Chalella, welcome. Monica Callahan, welcome. And, uh, Doug Salmon, thanks for sharing. Floyd Jackson, thank you. Mia Razai, thanks for joining the NCTV45 family. And um, there you go. A whole bunch of uh, people watching NCTV45, your community television station. Now, um, I, wow, just got that and get it out there. Now, uh, we're going to take a break, and when we return, we got a whole bunch more on the morning show, so enjoy your coffee. Your family and friends will be pleased if you suggest dining at Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant in Newcastle. Lamb and chicken dishes, stuffed grape leaves, tabbouleh, hummus, kibbe, and so much more from their huge menu. When you're looking for something different for your dining experience, then Mary's is the answer. Many of their customers come in from nearby counties. Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant, located on Long Avenue in Newcastle. Call 724-652-2447. 
Parkstown Restaurant has been serving the greater Newcastle area with quality and experience in family dining and great entertainment. Their superb menu includes sides, wings, pizza, sandwiches, Italian entrees, American entrees, soups and salads. Parkstown Restaurant located at 2800 West State Street, Newcastle. Eat in or take out. This program furnished by the MAD Unit, Mobile Auto Detailing, C. Michael Sad at the madunit.com Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450 Newcastle's community television station We're back and a lot of Mike DeStefano said this in, and a lot of hoopla. Now, I want to know. Put your hand up. Who keeps their coffee pot beside their your bed? I, I would really like to know. Because there was a study that says you shouldn't drink coffee immediately when you get up. Excuse me? Yeah, it messes with a chemical in your body and yada, yada, yada. And I watched the video, Mike. Now, just saying here, okay, the first thing when I get up, I lay there, And I'm like, oh, do I want to get up, turn over, turn over, turn over? Then, usually, I sit on the edge of the bed for a second. And make sure that I'm presentable. And not to give you anything, but you got to... Do the S's, and we know what those are. And then, I proceed to go to the kitchen. Now, you've got at least a good 30, 40 minutes for all that to take place. Now, a lot of people see me out in the morning. I don't I won't drink the coffee and then go get get coffee. So if I get in my car to go get the coffee, okay, generally, generally an hour has passed. So I would like to know who has their Keurig sitting beside the bed and is drinking coffee before they're even out of their PJs. Some of these studies are really... So, given that, it definitely is a good 45 plus minutes. And I guess I could wait another 15, but I'm not really pounding the coffee in the next 15 minutes. I'd probably sip a couple sips and then I don't really start drinking it till after an hour but pick it on the morning Joe I just wanted to tell you and that's one of the things that I'm going to talk about on Newswatch you know so um, sports today the, the list was not big I was kind of surprised Tuesday but Maybe everybody's getting in that holiday spirit. So we're going to take a break. We're going to go to sports. And then I'm going to tell you what I did last night. We'll be right back.
program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Hello and welcome once again to the Cedar Sports Corner and let's get to NHL hockey. Well, um, it's kind of a medium type matchup today as um, you have a few teams, not many. Arizona's at Boston, Los Angeles, they're at Buffalo. Toronto's at Carolina, Vancouver's at Columbus, Detroit's at Washington. Florida's at St. Louis while Ottawa visits Nashville. And Montreal's at Minnesota, Chicago's at Winnipeg, and Edmonton, they're at the Colorado Avalanche. Now, over in men's college hoops, here's uh, what you got as um, the hoops action starting to get underway and uh, in this early season and uh, as soon as bas uh, football clears out you'll you'll really be ready to go number 17 Villanova is at Pennsylvania in that battle of Philadelphia which they still play uh, the big five I think they call Loyola of Maryland's taking on Maryland and um, your late game will fe feature Denver at Wyoming. So, uh, not too bad for an, and a schedule for NCAA college basketball. In the uh, NBA, Portland's at Houston. Phoenix visits San Antonio and Toronto Why they're at the LA Clippers. Now, this was... The Cedar Sports Corner, go out to Cedars, get some great food, watch one of the games, and enjoy. We're going to take this break, and we'll be right back after these messages. Melva's Deja Vu on North Street, where everything old is new again. Yes, Melva's with new, exciting fashions, shoes, and so much more. Stop by Melva's Deja Vu. She'll be welcoming you at the door. And once you step inside, the treasures you'll explore. It's Melva's Deja Vu on North Street in Newcastle. This program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars 
featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. Today's programming furnished by a grant from Joseph's Supermarket. Special thanks to Joseph's. The Pokeberry Exchange at 41 North Mercer Street has gifts galore. It's the Pokeberry Exchange. It's yours to explore. Well, we're back. And here's what I did last night. You know, I don't want any wah-wahs. And, and here's what I won't do. You're a candidate, you're running for office. You send me an email, like my page. And you won't even walk in the door and talk to me? Sorry. What kind of person in office are you going to be? Let me tell you a little story. Mike Kelly was running against Ron Dean and Cola. Ron didn't have the time to come to NCTV 45. Mike Kelly said, Ange, look, can we do the interview out? And he did. And we sat down and we talked. And he said, thank you for all you do. He liked community television. That's what we got. We've had Aaron Bernstein in here several times. If you're just going to give me a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, like my page and move on, I don't know that that's really the ringing endorsement that I want to give to somebody that doesn't have the time to even talk to me. Thus, last night, I was given time and uh, the person that did give me a call and did talk to me was Mark Alisco. And uh, Mark, nice guy. And um, here's Mark speaking about his campaign. Hello, we caught up with Mark Lisko who is running for mayor for the city of Newcastle. Slogan, a time for change. Mark, a nice function here, a lot of good friends. Tell us, if people want to volunteer and get involved in your campaign, what, what can they do? Hey, Ange, first I want to say hello to everybody who watches NCTV 45. Everybody should be watching that, that program. It gives you everything that's going on in Newcastle. But at any rate, we're here at the Confluence here tonight. We're having a meet and greet. And what I, would, what I would like people to do who watch your show is that if they want to volunteer for my, for my campaign, we love to have them. We're looking to have as many people from Newcastle as we possibly can. This campaign is going to be very long and very hard, and we need a lot of workers. And if you're interested, you can go to my webpage, Arcalisco4, number 4, May, 4 Mayor NC com, and also my Facebook page as well as just come down into my office. My office is right on Jefferson Street, right by China Banquet. We'll sign you up, we'll put you to work. Hope to see you guys. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Now, I don't want any wham wans And we all know who's running for office. Mark's the only one that's knocked on the door and said, hey, how you doing? Watch NCTV 45. It's great for our community. Haven't? I've offered countless people. I'll make the calls one more time after we're off the air here. But um, 
you know, we're all busy and I got things to do too. So don't tell me that I'm not being fair. I gave airtime to every candidate, called one and left a text on one, told the other one uh, about coming down. He said he'd think about it and told our incumbent about his Christmas address. He's right now, Mr. Angelo is mayor, and also told him about Meet the Candidate. So I put that out there. Don't want to be accused of not being fair. Now, that being said, we're going to take this break. We're going to go to weather. But before we do, I got to give you the song of the day. And uh, we've been doing a little bit of Christmas music. And uh, I personally think uh, that's a, a great way to go. Um, here, let me let me get a good one for you. I got it. And uh, couldn't think of a better person. Oh, the weather outside is right. Now, there you go. Artist, title, go get it. We're going to take this break, look at weather, and we'll be right back. Welcome once again to Lawrence County 45 weather and uh, it's been very seasonal and uh, I guess that's a good thing. After last night's mostly cloudy low of 19, how is your Tuesday looking? Well, as you look at radar, local radar clear, ground clutter and a little flurry activity up near the lake. National radar showing the same thing. So your, your Tuesday shapes up to be mostly sunny and 34. Now Tuesday night, partly cloudy and 23. Wednesday, mostly sunny and 37. Wednesday evening, mostly cloudy, 29. Thursday, mostly, mostly cloudy and 41. Now, as the evening gets there on Thursday, you got a 30% chance of rain. Mostly cloudy Thursday evening with a low of 33. Friday, cloudy, 44. There's a 50%, 60% chance of precip in the form of rain or snow. And uh, that'll make it interesting, so be careful out there. Friday, Friday night, showers, 37, 60% chance of precip. And Saturday, mostly cloudy, 44, 40% chance of precipitation. And Saturday night, mostly cloudy, 32, followed by a sunny Sunday with a high of 43. Now that was Lawrence County 45 weather. 
And uh, we're going to take this break. We'll be right back after we hear from these great sponsors who keep community television on the air for you. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. This program, furnished by a grant from Keystone Specialty, Newcastle's party store on Mill Street in Newcastle. This program, furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. Tuscany Square Restaurant, 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets the modern conveniences of today. Spacious seating and amenities await. Fresh ingredients that make that just right pizza or entree. It's Tuscany Square for your next event. Stop and see us or give us a call at 724-654-0365. Well, we're back. And um, don't forget, the Master Gardeners have these great calendars out. And uh, so does Rotary. Here's put some new garden tools in on your Christmas list. Here's another one. Avoid salting sidewalks. Use sand instead. Tips from the Master Gardeners. Go out and get their calendar. Rotary has a calendar out also. Tomorrow, Advent Luncheon. Prepare the way of the Lord with Father Jim Downs. McGurk Hall, St. Camillus. Cost $6. Call Joe Thomas. 724-658-2839. Ice skating, and uh, this weekend, KCK and uh, Creations. I time for the glasses. KCK Creations painting class. RSVP, thirty-five dollars a person, six to eight thirty, right in the Status Event Center. That's right downstairs at the door of the temple building first assembly of god this weekend 14 15 and 16 that's friday saturday sunday a family outdoor experience first christmas live nativity we're going to be talking about christmas traditions and uh, as we get closer and uh, now some helpful hints here you go. The gift of memory lane. Okay. Uh, tour a couple places that you used to live, go to school, a personal way to walk for an anniversary, find out where they met. Okay. And make a gift out of those places. They'll enjoy telling stories about them. This is for the couple that has everything. So uh, that's a good crafty idea. You know, sometimes these gifts don't have to cost a barrel of money. And uh, helpful hints. How to be your wife's best friend. Fill the salt and pepper shakers. And that's not a bad idea because you're probably having people over. And since you're probably having people over, give her a break. Take her to Tuscany's, one of our fine establishments. And you know, why not just go and be a Lawrence County person? 
Shop Lawrence County enjoy what we have here. It's phenomenal. You'll be amazed. Now, uh, song of the day. Let's see if you know. Remember, artist title. Here you go. But the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Let it snow by Dean Martin. Can't beat it. Well, that's going to do it for us here on The Morning Show. Make sure that you watch our playlist, you tune in to our podcast. We keep telling you what's going on right here in Newcastle, Lawrence County, and keep you hearing, seeing, and appreciating where you live. And remember, tell a friend about NCTV 45. And have a friend tell a friend. When they say, well, I don't watch too much TV, say, well, they're available anytime on your time. Now, you know what? As you go through your day, make sure that you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you real soon.